Welcome to Gray eLearning. In this tutorial, you are going to learn about how to use Cisco Packet Tracer software. In my previous uh, tutorial, I already discussed how to register in Cisco Networking Academy and how to download the Cisco Packet Tracer software. It's a free software you can download without any charge. In case you don't know how to install a Cisco Packet Tracer, please watch my previous uh, video tutorial. It's called the Cisco Networking Academy. And assuming that once you download the Cisco Packet Tracer software and you installed this software in your computer, and once you install the Cisco Packet Tracer software, so you can log in with the same account of the what you register within Cisco Networking Academy. So let me start the software and uh, so I'll type here yes, Cisco Packet Tracer. It's already installed in my computer. So if the first time if you're login, they will ask you to, once you, the window is coming, there will be two options will be there. You can work as a guest or you can log in with the username. Better you log in with your username, what you said at the Cisco Networking Academy, okay? So assuming that you already log in, so this will be your first window you will get. And this software, Cisco Packet Tracer software, is used for designing the network model uh, for simulation purpose. And you can just uh, design any network model. And there you can use various type of uh, network devices. And so let me just give an, a brief overview. So whenever you start it first time, you can go to the file, start as a new. And uh, this will be the platform where you can just design your model. And if you just look into the down, you can see there will be different category of uh, devices there. First one is network devices category. Under the network devices, you can see there are many different type of uh, devices are there. And the network devices, you can see there is a routers and there's a list of routers are given. Then, then it's showing some switches, details, various. And we hopefully you all know that network, the routers are the in a networking and a TCP IP or OSI seven layer model. The router is known as a layer three devices and it will have an IP address. And the switches are known as a layer two devices which will have a MAC address. And in addition to that one, what else is there? There is a details about the, some other uh, devices list are there, apps are there and wireless devices. So I'm mainly focused on the routers and switches from the network devices. The next category is known as end devices. The end devices, you can see a list of end devices like a PC, laptop, servers, and a printer, and many other. And uh, here also I'm focusing only two type of devices, PC and the laptops. Even you can have that IP phones, even IP TV, anyway. Then once you have to focus on network devices, then you'll we'll have end devices. Then you have to concern about the connection schedule. These connections, you can see different type of cable. Once you keep the mouse, it will tell you what type of connections it will be. So mainly I'm concerned about the copper straight through cable and the crossover cable. And normally when a two different type of devices are connecting, we are using the, uh, the straight cable. When the same type of devices want to connect, we use the cross cable. This is a basic concept. And the mode in the simulation, whether you select the straight cable or cross cable, it will support. Okay, so let me select one of the raw device here, especially for the network device, and let me select one router, for example. Once you select a particular router here, and once you double click this router, you'll get a window, all the details about this router. It's called physical config, and you can also get the details about the command line interface. So in our scenario, especially in this design, we are mainly focusing on the command line window. So once you click this command, uh, the CLI command line interface, first of all, it will ask you, you would like to enter the initial configuration dialog. I, I recommend to enter the no. So let us just configure everything through the command line. So this will be your router and the default is called user mode. And if you want to enter inside the, into the router, we have to uh, write a command, it's called enable. So now, it's, you can see this, the, the symbol is changed into ash. It is indicating that we are in the, in the enable mode. And in the enable mode, you can use various commands uh, like uh, show, 
running configuration to see what is the existing configuration of your router, the details, which version of uh, uh, iOS is using here and other all the routers or the how many interfaces all the details but you see this uh, router there's nothing we didn't do any configuration that's empty window and also you can just get it to show if you can use the command show ip interface brief it will show you the summary of how many interfaces are they and uh, and many more commands are there in future you just learn all other commands so the first steps you learn and if this is the mode it's called it's a in the in the user mode if you want to exit from the uh, sorry it is enable mode if you want to exit from enable mode but use an exit command it will be user mode so uh, by default once you enter it will be in the user mode then you can just type enable command it will be in enable mode and after that if you want in future you're going to learn how to configure a host name and how to set in a, in a, in a like the host uh, password for each host is called enable password. So for this purpose, any configuration, how to set an IP address for the routers, how to change the host name, for everything, if you want to do any configuration on routers, you have to first of all, from you have to switch from the enable mode to the config mode by using the command config terminal. So all this configuration you can do in this mode. So you can exit from the, and the configuration mode to back to the to enable mode by using the, uh, to the exit command. Now you are in the enable mode. From enable mode, you can exit uh, by using the command exit. So that's the first command talking about the router. And the same way, in addition to router, there will be other some devices or switches. So let me select one type of switches here. And normally in switches, same way you can just configure the commands, instructions, but I'm not going to do configuration and early stage switches. Uh, normally it's a layer two devices and also other one devices we are mainly using for end devices. The end devices mainly be focused to two type of end devices. One is called PC, other one is called laptops. So in the case of PC and the laptop, any end devices which can be connected to the router or the switches through Ethernet cable. So if you want to connect, especially this PC with the router, you have to select any one of the cable. So let me select one of the cable, it's a cross cable. So select the PC will have, uh, your PC will have an Ethernet port and it's called fast Ethernet from the Ethernet to, to the your router. The router will have, in this particular router model, they have three giga Ethernet ports so connected to the first one. The same way, this uh, the laptops you select uh, one of the uh, only one Ethernet ports will be there. Also, the net to the switch. Switch normally a switch will consist of number of uh, the net ports. You can see there are so many fast Ethernet port. Around 24 ports are there. Fast and under two backbone the net port is called the Giga Ethernet. So I selected the first one. So this is the way it's connected. When a laptop or a or a PC is connected to the switch or router. Since router configuration, it's an IP based, we have to configure an IP address in the both PC side and router side, then only the interface will be up. In the cases of switches, we have to configure, switch is a layer two devices, no need to configure any IP address in the switch, but to configure IP address only in the, in the laptop side. So let me configure how to, uh, let me teach you how to configure an IP address for the laptop or PC. So you double click on this laptops. PC, so you can see there are different window config term options desktop. So you select this desktop option. There's an option called terminal and the IP config. So you can select these options called the IP config, and you can assign an IP address here. There are two way IP address. In future, you will learn how to assign IP address. There is one IP you can assign automatically by using DHCP server. Uh, this uh, IP, and or you can use the static manually. Let me assign an. Uh, uh, IP address, a uh, class C IP address 192.168.100.1 with a mask since a class C network 255.255.255.0. Then that's enough. So it will that's assign an IP address to the this interface. The same way, if we want to assign in the IP address for this second, so go to the desktop and IP config. So I'll select here 192.168.100.1 mask and that's it. just it. but it's why it's still it is red color the reason you configure only ip address for the pc 
uh, in late in future uh, tutorial learn how to configure an IP address in the router side if both sides if you configure and you put interfaces up it's become green then only it's able to communicate with each other and in the next tutorial you learn about how to set a and a house name for the router how to set an enable password and uh, how to set an ip address uh, thank you for watching this tutorial